Hello there you guys, welcome back to Rosewolf. Today is a little bit of a different day. So as you can see, we have the QR code machine or the sewing machine as it's known. I have already actually put in all of the QR codes just because uh, I really, really, really uh, didn't want you guys to have to sit through me doing that. It actually took a little while because I found one path that I really liked and I put it all in and I went to go start the episode and I was talking to you guys and it was all good and then I realized that I didn't have this piece, a middle piece. I had only edges and I freaked out and I got really pissed. Um, <laughs> long story short though, I, uh, I, uh, I got a new path. And we had the flag, and I've already actually put the flag up as per, you know, the episode that I was filming. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so today we are going to be doing the path filming episode. The reason why this episode is a little bit different, uh, other than that is purely because it is the 16th. I'm currently filming this on, what is it, Monday the 16th. The next episode was due out Tuesday, and I usually film the same day that I upload. Today's not that day, <laughs> because uh, I'm really excited to put down my paths. I, I was doing like my off-screen stuff, I was finding the fossils talking to villagers. And as you can see, I already kind of started here. <laughs> uh, and uh, and yeah, and then I noticed that we got the QR code machine and I just couldn't wait any longer. So anyways, I'm gonna hopefully show you guys- don't- don't wear it, my goodness. Um, I'm gonna hopefully show you guys how I go about doing this, because there are methods to make this uh, a much easier process on yourself, especially if you know how to lay everything out. Um, that being said, there will be spaces such as these two right here. For some reason it's two in front of the train station, I'm never sure why. But uh, these will never ever be able to be covered, unfortunately. There's nothing I can do about that. Um, same as in front of retail and in front of the town hall, although that's only one square each, and in front of player houses. Um, there's absolutely nothing we can do. But, 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 there are ways to make uh, play, placing down paths in other areas faster. So you can see right now I'm kind of sitting like in the middle. Put it this way, if you want to put down a whole lot of path at once, uh, for example in an area like this where you're not picky about what's going where, uh, just know that it's kind of like if you're putting down items or flowers. Everything can go uh, pretty much around you and underneath you, so it's essentially nine tiles that you can place down at once without moving. Like so. So that's easy enough, but uh, for the rest of the town I'm gonna be doing two by two, so it doesn't really quite work like that, but uh, I can really easily show you guys how to uh, theoretically place down two by two paths very, very easily. If you're not sure what I mean by two by two, I literally mean uh, like these two tiles here. This is one tile right here, and then this is the second tile. Um, it's just how I prefer things. I think three by three is a little bit too wide for everywhere in town. It looks nice in certain areas. And I think one tile is just too narrow, really. It's kind of hard to follow, kind of hard to stay on. Uh, definitely, like, kind of risky to run on. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're gonna be doing two. I did not put those down where I meant to. Oh well. There's a good place here for us. But, uh, but yeah, this episode is going to be much longer than usual. It's going to be very different. I'm not going to really talk to the villagers. I'm not going to find the fossils because I've already done both of those things. Not going to fish. Not going to do any of that. If you guys would like to skip it, if you already know all about placing down paths, or if you do not want to listen to me ramble on for that long, however long it's going to be, um, by all means, not offended at all. I totally, totally get it. But uh, I'm really happy with the uh, with the flag. Thank you again, Poco Joe, for uh, for making that for me. It definitely looks great. Once we get down to town hall, uh, you guys will be able to see it. So, anyways, here is the main section covered up. I like to cover up this gray bit personally. I kind of I. It bothers me to have a path coming up to it that looks really nice and all of a sudden you get to something that doesn't quite match. Unfortunately, I can't do anything about this, obviously, but it's the best I can do. So anyways, um, I also do that with the plaza and I also do it with the uh, town uh, town hall and with retail and eventually with roost. Well, actually, roost doesn't have it, but uh, I do do it in front of roost as well. So what I'm going to do is how I start making paths, if you guys are curious is I uh, go around to all of these basically and I cover them up so I'm gonna leave I think the plaza for last because that one's gonna be rather boring <laughs> um, and basically I'm just trying to 
No, not quite. I'm just trying to cover up all of this because I don't I don't want to see it. No one wants to see it. And then here should be about good for uh, a turn. By the way, if you guys would like to use the same path as me, if you guys also would like the path to my Rosewood town, I actually found it while I was looking for paths for Rose Wolf. Uh, both of those will be linked in the description down below. Oh, I hear somebody shaking a tree in the background. Unfortunately, uh, Frexel, Freckles, I'm guessing, is not going to want to move out for a while. She's in the worst place ever. She's right beside the la the, uh, the ramp down to the uh, uh, to the beach. One of the ramps, at least. Um, and I absolutely hate it. And it's going to be such a pain to put paths over there because of her. But, oh well. <laughs> I already have a mod, by the way, who has claimed her. So, uh, if anyone was interested, I'm very sorry. <laughs> but uh, somebody already wants her. I may start doing that though, if somebody wants a villager that I either don't want or is moving away and I can't do anything about it, um, I may start giving them away. There we go, very nice, looking good so far. So now we just place down the uh, middle section again. I find putting the outer edges first on these sections just makes it so much easier. Oops, right, can't put anything in that square right there. That's totally fine though. Also, flag! <laughs> I love it. We get to see it uh, while we're putting down our paths. But uh, yeah, this isn't the path I originally wanted, as I said earlier. Um, it just it didn't have a middle section. I couldn't find one. I was too lazy to make one. I'm terrible at art type stuff anyway. Um, but it, it was kind of a snow-covered path. But you know what? This one is pretty cute as well. I've used it in the past, but uh, I like it quite a bit. So let's go down to, to retail. I'll cover this one up real quick. This is the smallest one, obviously. No, no, don't, don't, no, no. <laughs> don't do that now. So, a few things I've learned in my time making paths, or putting down rather paths in this game, is uh, be careful going around the edges of water and cliffs. Whoops, wrong one. Um, because, uh, it, it kind of looks sloppy in my opinion if a, cl if a path is hanging off the edge. It doesn't quite look right. Um, you guys just really happy I'm putting down paths, or, or what's going on, you guys? <laughs> They're so cute. Um, another thing is, once you have paths, you're gonna get very used to accidentally kicking them up. It happens a lot. It happens when you use, I believe it's Y? I'll, I'll check that in a second for you guys. But, um... Basically, if you aren't aware, you can also run using the R shoulder button, so I would definitely recommend that uh, while you're while you're having your paths. Okay, so there's that. That should be good. All right. Okay. Not not to hear it then, I guess. It's totally fine. It looks it looks decent. I, I don't like it, to be honest, that, but there is absolutely nothing I can do about it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to my house. I also like to put paths leading up to every single villager, unless, you know, I don't like said villager. <laughs> um, nothing I can really do about that, though. Um, so here you'll notice, I can actually really easily describe it here. You'll notice um, I put down a lower one first. So what it's going to do is it's going to go to the lower ones first, the three of them, and then it's going to go up to the ones beside me. This is how it works, basically, from where your character is facing. And you'll see it as I uh, as I put down more paths, it'll probably be easier to understand what on earth I'm like rambling on about. So I'm going to put down two sides over here. You guys won't really be able to see it, but it'll be there. Just like that. So there's a there's a nice kind of ending. So here we go. I'll show you guys. So down. Whoops. No. Can confirm it's Y also to kick up. <laughs> okay. So one underneath you because I'm not standing in the shadow of a house. 
and then three are gonna go down. And then immediately they're gonna go back up beside you. And if I was placing down more than those uh, paths, they would next go behind me, if that makes any sense at all. So I'm not really sure where I'm going with this, to be honest. I don't know if I can fit in here comfortably. I can try it, I guess. There's no point in uh, not trying, right? That path, or the, um, the river, or the, not river, oh my goodness, the pond is in kind of a really awkward, awkward location for us, unfortunately. So, uh, laying down paths works the same pretty much everywhere, unless you're standing, like, in the doorway of retail or, or whatever, right? Um, it's pretty simple to get the hang of. There we go, very nice. Put a sideways one here. And uh, in these sections where I'm doing a turn, you put an empty one. You just put one without corners, it, it, it'll it look just fine, trust me. Oh, see, I don't think this is gonna work. It's gonna cut off right here and it's gonna piss me off. Um, I can always go around. I don't mind doing that. Let's try doing that really quick. And yes, this is a lot of trial and error, by the way, because I don't know where my paths are going yet. I have absolutely no clue. Um, but I think that's half the fun of it, is figuring out where you want to put everything. And I think in front of my house is going to be one of the ones where I do um, a three wide path, which I can also illustrate to you guys. I rarely have them, but I feel like uh, in front of my house is probably the best place in this town since I really can't get away with it in front of Town Hall with Bam there. There we go, middle one, and then... More middle ones. And ending ones. There we go. Now, eventually there's going to be a bridge here. I think it's these two tiles? I don't think it's these two. I can't really remember. Um, so what we're going to do... So we're going to preemptively place it there <laughs> for when we finally have this bridge built. There we go. Now eventually I will get rid of these lines right here. I like to have it kind of like an even flow between instead of obviously it having different layers to it, if that makes any sense at all. Um, but that probably won't be for a little while. So I'm trying to figure out how to how to branch off of this three-way path. I think it'll just come all the way down. I could have like bushes or something really cool in here. It's just an idea, regardless. Um, okay. You gonna stare at me while I do this, Pajmina? Okay, I went yeah, I went one down too far. That's my bad. No worries though. But as you can see, like, yes, this is going to take a while, but no, this isn't horrible. It isn't uh, that hard to figure out where exactly you're placing things. I understand it's a little bit more difficult when you have paths that actually have edges to them, because then you really need to, like, pay attention to where you're laying things. Um, but once you have it all down, it isn't really that bad. Just remember that unless you're standing in the doorway, the first one is going to be underneath of you, and then in front of you, and then beside you, and then behind you. No matter what way you're facing. So, below me, beside me, and behind me. Pretty easy to figure out. I'm gonna make a turn somewhere here. It's probably gonna be like right up against here, unfortunately. Um, but there's nothing we can really do much about that. So let me kinda see where I want things here. Yeah, that's not bad. It's cutting a little bit into the river, but because of the angle, you can't really see it, thankfully. Or else it would drive me absolutely crazy. Okay, so this tree is gonna need to go. No offense, tree. I love you, but can't stand there. <laughs> and 
And also, working around trees, just keep in mind, they'll, the paths will also go around it. They will not go underneath of it. Same with rocks, etc. Rocks can be very annoying, by the way, when you're uh, placing down things. Definitely get in the way. Yeah, this looks about good. It's gonna be kind of an awkward turn here. But it should be fine. And again, we're gonna need to get rid of this tree. I will be planting lots and lots of trees to make up for the ones I cut down during this, by the way. Um, it's kind of just like an unfortunate casualty <laughs> of what we're doing. Nope, put the wrong one down. There we go. That was completely my bad. There we go, okay. I'm gonna have to fix that one, but that's okay. Things can get a little bit confusing if you turn midway. Um, but that's totally fine. Okay, so let's see what we have so far. We have a path that's gonna go across here and then up. Um, thankfully that rock isn't in too bad of a location. Uh, then we'll have our three-way up to our house, which actually looks very nice to be honest. Um, I may keep this one and then angle it upwards. So like go to Wolfgang's house, go to the bridge up here. We also have the side path off our three-way path that leads onto the uh, bridge over here, or the soon-to-be bridge. But anyways, if you guys were wondering what I meant by this... Whoops, got rid of the wrong one, that's totally fine. In places where there would otherwise be lines, when there's two connecting paths, put it that way, I like to, uh... I like to have like a little uh, empty area so that it, it, it looks like they're, they're conjoined. It doesn't look like there's like a, a gap almost between them. But yeah, this is exactly what I meant. Just like that. Instead of having that line. Okay, and I'm gonna probably come down maybe a bit before Pochmina's house actually because I want to have her have her own little like yard type thing. I tend to like to do that for villagers personally. I think it it's just cute to have flowers around somebody's house that kind of fits them, if you know what I mean. But that's just me personally. It's totally up to you how close you go to your villagers' houses. I think I'm actually going to put the curve here. There we go, very nice. So then from now on it'll be heading down. I hope you guys are uh, actually picking up some tips from this. I, I've done it so often for so long, because like I've had pads for a very long time, it's just I always change them in every single town I have, so uh, I don't usually stick to one type of path <laughs> that I've gotten so used to how I do it that I don't even like think that I'm doing anything weirdly. There we go, so Pajmina has her own little walkway up. Um, I'm gonna put these, since we're gonna continue on. There we go, put that little empty space there. And we're going to put a curve here. And a path up. So there we go. She's connected now. Um, I guess our next stop, we're probably going to run straight over to Poppy's house, but we're going to make a curve down to here. So we do have a ramp down there, and I do want to connect it. Um, again, though, totally up to you if you want to even connect it. I personally like having everything I could ever want to walk to in my town connected. Every uh, 
landmark sort of thing connected so that I don't really have to walk off the path. I can run everywhere without worrying about damaging grass. Because, by the way, putting down um, patterns, if you run, the grass underneath will not be worn. I tried it once, trust me. I, uh, I was actually trying to wear down my paths. I got disappointed uh, when, I, I, when I picked up the paths and they were, you know, just fine. <laughs> But uh, in the future, I think I may actually make Rose Wolf a dirt path. Uh, we'll see how that goes, though. It does take a while and it needs a lot of maintenance because you have to continue running on it very often or else the grass will grow back. Okay, so let me... let me see. This is gonna be kind of awkward right here. I'm not gonna enjoy this. The other uh, slope down I have in my other town is much better for... For paths. Yeah, this is kind of gross. <sighs> I don't know. Mm. I'm kind of debating whether or not I should even put it down. I could always like make a path of like four leaf clovers or something down there. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? I'm gonna leave it for now because that really- I hate having it overhang. It just- it irks me to no end. Obviously, we have a lot of trees to cut down, though. So, in the end, it would actually be lovely if I could have a few villagers move up along here, just to kind of be neighbors with her. It'd be a really nice place to have them. Poppy is kind of above them, but it's not really a big deal. Um, but that would be a really great place for villagers to move in. If I can plot reset, which I will do a video on, by the way, uh, them to sit there, it'd be perfect. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream I did on Saturday, by the way, if you guys were able to make it. I know a lot of you, uh, heard of it from the last video I did, so a lot more people came in than I was expecting. It was actually rather busy. Thank you very much for, uh, for coming on by. I do try and do Animal Crossing streams fairly often. I know it's really what you guys kind of watch me for, um, for the most part, and, uh, it's a lot of fun sometimes. I'm not really in the mood for Animal Crossing, unfortunately. When those times happens, I just- I tend not to want to stream at all. Okay, so we're gonna make a thing right up to his house. Wrong side. That was my bad. <laughs> sometimes it takes a little bit of a uh, habit to get used to what side paths are going down on first. There we go. Yeah, so we're gonna connect here. Nope, not what I meant to do. <laughs> Again, I do the same thing again. See, it just, it takes a while sometimes. It's been, oh gosh, like over a year since I put down paths in Rose Woods, so I'm really not used to doing this. Uh, it'll be another one of those, followed by one of these. And then the sides. Not quite. Okay. <laughs> Actually, that'll be a bear path. There we go. So there we go. We could have uh, made it turn a bit more upwards towards his house, but I kind of like that. I think it's kind of cute. Um, I think we'd be best going from here, approximately up, turning, I guess. Like, I think I want to build kind of, or place down paths kind of around her house, because I want it to go kind of like that. And then uh, up to... Do, 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 is this Willow? Or is this Flora? I never remember. Their houses look very similar to me. It's both pink. Um, okay. Actually, no, not quite like that. Oop. 
And that's a bit better. Okay. Lots of trees over here that I'm going to need to deal with. that done. Um, maybe a straight line down would actually be pretty good. Now that I'm seeing this area a bit more. It's mm, cutting it a bit. That's not actually too bad though. I can deal. Okay, there we go. So the turn is actually going to be here, so I made this a bit too high, but that's totally fine. Okay, hopefully this, this works out just fine. Just trying to think of how we're going to connect it downwards. This path, or I mean, rather, this town is actually kind of really tricky. When it's coming to placing down paths, I'm not liking it so far, unfortunately. I thought I chose a really nice town, but for paths, it's, it's not that great. <laughs> That's okay, though. It's more of a challenge that way. Okay, so there's that done. Um, we're definitely gonna have to make a connection down. Just don't know exactly where. Like, <sighs> That's too close to the edge, I don't like that. Um... You know what? Scrap this area. All the other villagers are going to have a very similar path. And I don't want to... Uh, I don't want his to be any different. As much as I love my poppy. <laughs> Which, by the way, somebody mentioned that they actually, like, hacked the game to get rid of the music. Uh, his his uh, CD player, whatever it is, in his house. I completely understand. I really hate that song he has on it. So... Just, ugh. I think I put down the wrong one here. Yes, I did. And that means that this one will not be a curve anymore either. Yeah, I think we're gonna do a turn right here. I don't stop at you. <laughs> I'm just trying to decide this. I want to give Poppy room, but then again, he does have this whole cliff area for flowers and such, so that isn't actually too bad. He can deal with it. I'm sure he'll be fine. <laughs> um, okay, and then it's just gonna be size. Oops, nope, not a side. <laughs> Somehow, this is not going quite right over here. There's always one area that I don't like the layout of. It just, it always happens. There's always one area where I couldn't get the path quite right. Clearly, this is gonna be it. <laughs> I think it's just because the trees are here and it's, it's blocking my view, so I'm not quite sure where I'm placing everything. And the next one should be the middle one. Okay, and then we're just gonna walk straight up. Hopefully. <laughs> I might have to make a turn now that I look at it. We won't have enough space to go straight up. Nope, don't wear it. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we're gonna make like a slight turn here and almost brush Freckles' house. So theoretically, Freckles' house will not always be there, but... For now... I don't even know if it's really worth it to even make a path to her house. I really, really would like her to move. I have nothing against her personally. I had her in my first town. Don't hate her. But uh, her, her placement is terrible. 
Yeah, okay, we're gonna brush here. You know what? We're gonna be nice. We're gonna make a thing to her house. We'll get rid of it when she moves. No big deal. Put the wrong one down. Damn you, Freckles. <laughs> I'm gonna blame you for this. I didn't put a curve here. That was my bad. Once again. What on earth? <laughs> oh, please don't do the weird void thing again. Good. Okay. <laughs> if you guys have seen that video, it's really weird. Uh, so it's going to be two empty spaces here. Right? Yeah, I think it's going to be two empty spaces. No, that's not going to be an empty space. <laughs> I'm also kind of in my head while I'm putting down paths, uh, thinking about where I want my uh, my public works projects to go. So if you haven't played the game before, obviously you're not going to really have too much of an idea. You know, I could actually make that straight. But that's kind of weird leading straight up to our house. Um, and uh, I'm kind of thinking, like, where can I put this? Where will this fit around the paths? Because you don't want to, like, kind of have... Uh, public works projects anywhere and then you put down paths and you're like oh like I don't have this is exactly where the path should go but I'd have, it'd have to go like through the fountain or whatever right so uh, you want to kind of think of that while you're putting down everything obviously if you've never played the game and you don't know what public work projects there are you're not really gonna have any idea but uh, if you do know it uh, definitely comes in handy. And of course, your first path, your first design is probably not going to be how your town will be laid out forever. I'm probably going to change this path, like, uh, after I've used it for a little bit, because you get used to where everything is and you're just like, oh, this, is, this isn't quite fit or that kind of stuff. Or like, oh, I never walk here, so I shouldn't have a path here, sort of thing. Um, okay, so let's make these two empty. There we go, that should do it. So that's that's not so bad. Obviously I... I don't know, the, the thing to the beach is kind of awkward. Eventually I'd like to just kind of curve around and do that and get rid of this whole section up here, but... Freckles. <laughs> okay, so that's not so bad. Trees are gonna have to go. As for that thing down there, I have absolutely no clue. I, I need to figure out something, but I really hate how it's laid out, unfortunately. Okay, so there's a good chunk of the lower half of the town done. Should lead up to retail now. But, uh, but yeah, this is pretty much how I place paths. I focus really hard on connecting everything. I think that's really important for me personally, because I never played City Folk, but I heard that it had terrible, terrible like, grass, uh, uh... Not physics, what's the word I'm thinking of here? Uh, just in general, how they uh, went about dealing with, like, uh, your grass dying. It was very fast, and, like, you couldn't run anywhere, and, like, it was gonna happen anyway, so just suck it up sort of thing. Uh, I don't like that. <laughs> I really, really, really like having, like, a healthy, vibrant, green-looking town, so... Uh, hearing that was kind of heartbreaking. So the second I got New Leaf, I was really interested in putting down proper paths that uh, I didn't have to really worry about with, with grass and everything. So I think that's why connecting everything is so important to me, because from the start I was like, I need to be able to run everywhere, but not ruin anything. Not to mention, if you think of it in another way, for example, in Dream Towns, I like to follow paths in Dream Towns because they tend to show me what the player would like me to see of their town. Generally, if there's something that they don't want me to see or like a big empty area, they're not going to even have a path towards it. So uh, why would I go there, right? Like, that's generally how I look at it. 
Okay, that's pretty That's pretty good. That's decent. We can have a nice little either public works project or a flower bed here. It'd be pretty cute. This rock is really poor placement, unfortunately, but... Nothing much we can do. Um, if possible, I'd like to connect from here up to the town hall. Are you gonna make that impossible? No, I think it should actually work. Hopefully. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. Yep, that rock is... Again, it's not in an ideal place, if only because if that is the money rock for the day, I'm only gonna get so many uh, bells from it because I won't be able to hit it consecutively eight times. Um, since... It's hard to explain, but the bells won't fall in the proper place, etc. Uh, I won't be able to get the maximum amount of bells. Long story short. But uh, that isn't too much of a concern of mine. Pretty much, in this Let's Play, how my town is growing is kind of more important in terms of like fauna and stuff like that, less than uh, how much money I have, because I know how to make bells in this game, that isn't the issue. <laughs> Making sure the town is nice and pretty looking is, um, I, could, I still really want to do three squares. I could do it. You know, looking at it, I could actually do it. I'm really tempted to. <laughs> You know what? Screw it. Let's try it. I'm, I'm really not happy about Bam's placement, but... It just feels so right to have three squares in front of, uh... Or three tiles in front of, uh, the town hall. It feels official, you know? Not to mention, it lines up. And I'm, I'm a stickler for, uh... For, uh... I just realized this is not symmetrical at all. For symmetry, I can fix that. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah, I, I really do prefer if things are, are centered, somewhat at least, to the extent that I can get them centered. Okay, there we go. That, that that looks pretty good so far. The only thing about three wide paths is that it's kind of really awkward when you come down and you split off into two wide. It just feels very tiny. Um, hopefully I can do that seamlessly to the best of my abilities, but we'll see. Oops, wrong one. There we go. Clearly, I'm much better at like figuring out where things are going if I'm not doing it in front of a house. Uh, here we are. Or in front of a building or stuff like that. There we go, so we're gonna branch on over here. I would love, eventually, my plan for this is to put like maybe a flower or like a few bushes in the middle. So you can kind of walk up, weave between them. I think it would be really, really gorgeous. I just have to find the right type of bush I want in this town. That looks pretty decent. Maybe even like a tree in the middle would be really good actually, like perfect pears, just to show that it's our, our uh, native fruit. I don't know, I have a lot of ideas for Rose Wolf. We'll see if they come into fruition though. I really would like to with you guys though, because it, it, it's fun starting over. It's, it's very, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? Uh, overwhelming <laughs> to start over again. I forget how much there is to do at the beginning, but I'm enjoying it. Okay, so town hall is officially connected. Let me let me fix this right before I forget. <laughs> um, I'm still exactly not sure what to do with with this. Um, it's kind of been a sore spot for me ever since they updated it. It just seems weird. Uh, if you know what I mean. 
to put a path up to it. Like, I don't, I don't know how to do it because it's such a wide area and it's so awkward. Um, so I guess I'll figure that out later. Again, like a four-leaf clover path would be amazing, but it takes a very long time to do that. Yeah, that's gonna be about right, I think. Oops, wrong one. I do think I kind of got lucky there. I'd prefer the campsite to be off the plaza. Just personally, I've seen it in Dreamtowns. I think it looks gorgeous. But uh, being off the town hall isn't that bad either, actually. Okay, there is that even. Thank you very much. That makes me happy. Um, okay, Wolfgang. So I want to connect him... I could connect him from two different places, but I don't know if I really want to. Also, Bam. <laughs> Let's not forget about poor Bam here. Really quickly, just put down this path here for him. And Bam is connected. Easy peasy. Okay. Now you, you're awkward because I can't just go straight over. I could connect you to me, I guess, over here. That wouldn't be too bad. Yeah, let me just... Let me just do that real quick. Now my one issue right now is usually when I'm coming back from uh, the museum and stuff, so uh, the town... What is it called? Main Street? Main Street, right. Um, usually the first thing I do is head to retail because I'm selling fossils and stuff, right? So f right now we do not have a direct line in to uh, to retail and that's going to really irk me. So I'm going to have to do something about that. Even if it's like a path that goes from like up here and like connects in here. Because I know me, I, I run to retail a lot. <laughs> But uh, we'll sort that out in a little bit. It's just kind of upsetting though that the river, or the, not the river, the pond I feel like is, is on the wrong side of retail in this town. I really would prefer it on the other side like it is in my other town, but that's just me being used to building that way, so it's, it's, kind, of, it's kind of a good thing that it's not put it that way. <laughs> means I have to challenge myself to, uh, be good. <laughs> hmm, that's actually, this isn't too good. I don't like that. We're gonna move up a square. I think it's still a blank there, and then... I think I got this. <laughs> no, that's three wide. Anyway, I'll, I'll fix that in a second. Yeah, not, not quite. Nearly, though. <laughs> okay, so there's that done. So we're gonna turn around here. And I think that actually... Does it? I think that perfectly curves into, uh... Wolfgang's house, if I'm really lucky it does at least. We might be one square down, which is really frustrating, but that's okay. Okay, so there's that done. No, I think I think we got it. I think. Maybe. <laughs> No, we did. That's awesome. That actually really worked out nicely. Marshall, quit pushing Wolfgang in the background there, man. I feel like they're all just like watching me like, what on earth are you doing to our town right now? Yeah, I know Wolfgang will be connected in a second, man. Don't you worry. There we go. Perfect. Um, and then we're gonna want to make an up. So, I don't want to be right- I mean, yeah, it should actually technically be right along the river, I guess. 
kind of awkward, but we'll see how it goes. Mm, probably this one first, I guess. I hate having it right along the river. It makes me nervous. <laughs> ah. But like, it feels awkward having like a space. Th I mean, I guess I could have roses or something. How far away can I go? I could always back up right onto Wolfgang's house. But again, I don't like doing that either. Either way, it's gonna be one space on one side or the other. So I guess we're gonna go here up? As I said, you guys, just like when I was first starting, I am a very picky person when it comes to Animal Crossing. Just like when I was picking out where my house was, just like when I was picking out which town we would have, it 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 takes me a while. Okay. That's not so bad, I guess. I'll deal with it. <laughs> and eventually we are gonna have, I think, a third bridge. I got away with two bridges in my other town. I don't think I'm gonna get away with it in this one. This town is very... I don't know, kind of awkwardly placed <laughs> in terms of everything, unfortunately. Okay, there's that done. Good thing we can uh, place them under villagers while they're standing there, because these guys are not leaving me alone. <laughs> they all seem very, very interested in what I'm doing. I mean, this does kind of blow. I can't really have anything in here other than flowers. I mean, I guess it wouldn't look that bad. Maybe. <laughs> That one wasn't quite right, but that's okay. Again, also, this path is probably not final, as I said earlier. You kind of get a feel for where you want everything. Just by walking around, you're like, eh, that turn is kind of awkward, or this is awkwardly placed, or this doesn't, this isn't necessary. So this path is probably not final at all. <laughs> Like, that's a very sharp turn coming off of a bridge. I'd feel better about it if I had, like, something over here. And my my first idea, actually, is to put a roost up here, which would be very nice. But I don't know if I have enough room. If I have to put a path straight out? I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see when that, uh, when that time comes. But for now, it's, it's good enough. Okay, so now we're going to be connecting... Uh, Melba and Marshall and I think Flora? I think that's who that is. Oops, I missed a spot. My bad. Didn't realize how far out I went. Okay, so there's that done. Uh, we're gonna have to make a turn down here and that's that's gonna be ugly right there. Ugh, why do you guys have the worst placement ever? <laughs> Whoops, wrong place. I think I figured it out. I think I know what we're gonna do up here. Um... So I don't have to deal with it. I think we're going to go straight up from there, connect into that path, and then that path is probably going to go like, yeah, straight up up into here. I think that's going to look amazing. Hopefully. <laughs> Theoretically it should, maybe. Okay, this is gonna bother me so much, but there's really absolutely nothing I can do about that. 
Ugh. And this is this is just me being extremely picky. I hate that. <laughs> like that little edge right there. Ugh. But it's okay. <laughs> It'll be fine. It just sucks that I have a whole bunch of villagers who I really, really like. Like, Melba is probably the cutest villager I've had in a really long time. Uh, Marshall's in an okay spot, but Bam, Bam I wanted for a very long time. And he just, he placed his house down in the worst place possible, pretty much. Like, right in front of Town Hall? I mean, thankfully we got away with that three wide path, which is pretty cool. But other than that, he's not really doing us much favors. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna connect up and it'll be straight up. And that's actually really good. I don't really feel like doing a three ride down anyway, so I think I think that should be good. Um this one's kind of a tricky there we go, okay, I think I got it. <laughs> There we go. I think I think that's good. We'll see once uh, once I get these trees chopped down. Which, by the way, I don't think we have uh, an axe in the shop today, and we have like one that's already partially broken. So I don't think we're gonna be able to chop all these down today, unfortunately. But that's totally fine. We'll probably be able to do it. Um, I actually rather I think I'll probably be able to do it off screen. Since I tend to try and play what I can when I'm not filming, um, I don't play every day. Just because I don't want to get, like, you know, too far ahead. <laughs> okay, and we're connecting back up here. Huh, I don't... <sighs> I really want to do a three-way pass. <laughs> That's really bad, but I really do. Oh, and it would it wouldn't be connected straight up to Melba's house either. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna leave it for now. I'm just gonna forget that that was even a thing. Uh, okay, Marshall. I don't know if I should connect him to her or what. I could. That probably actually wouldn't be that bad of an idea. It leaves more- it- basically it leaves more room for public works projects or for gardens. That's my- that's my chain of thought right now. I'll just put down the wrong one. How did- how on earth did I manage that? Um, and then it's this one. And then it's that one. Perfect, okay. I think I'm gonna have to turn these ones into a turn here, but that's totally fine. Because I don't want to turn here anymore. <laughs> Any more than I have to. So it's gonna be this one. I think there's gonna be a blank there. That looks about right, I believe. Yep. Perfect. Okay, so, oops. That one's not quite right, but that's okay. Gonna be a blank. There we go. Okay, that isn't that's not so bad actually, because I usually do visit them in order anyway. We could also do a turn up, but it's kind of a really tight space there, so maybe not. Um, but we definitely need to have What we could do, since we're having the police station here, like I do in my other town, we could have a path coming out here 
to go straight. That's actually, that works perfectly. Yeah, I like that idea. <laughs> I know I'm not really explaining it terribly clearly to you guys. I kind of just uh, mutter things this episode. I'm very sorry about that. Hopefully you guys are getting something out of that. If you're still watching, this is going to be a very long video. But I do promise we're very nearly done. Uh, okay, this one. That one's not going to stay there. I don't think. See, the plaza is kind of difficult because it isn't like a perfect square. It's kind of awkwardly placed. Um, so I think we're going to start from about here. See, the outer edges are not going to be perfectly lined up. And that's totally fine. It's just uh, something you don't want to look too closely at. So you might see some gray area sticking out here and there, but that's totally fine. So like I did for the other ones. Ooh, no. Ugh, this is what, exactly what I meant. So we're gonna have to do that over again. It's totally fine, totally fine. I know I keep saying that. It's more like reassuring myself at this point. <laughs> Okay, get rid of these then. Also these. I don't want those bothering us. These two are going to be blanks. But yeah, this is that was exactly what I was talking about with the plaza. It's it's annoying if you start like building like your square and then you get to a section and you're like crap it's not like far out enough or whatever right so just something to uh to be aware of it's exactly why i actually like placing out the outsides first it's kind of in my opinion like doing a puzzle i tend to when i'm doing one like a jigsaw puzzle i like to do the outside area first followed by the inside area so that i can see where the edges are and what the boundaries are Okay, so it should mm, not quite straight across. Okay, so there's a tree in my way. That is unfortunate. I think. Mm, just made it. Okay, so there's a tree right there that's kind of awkwardly placed, but it's totally fine. Is that done? I have not even filmed the other stuff I meant to film today. This is taking so long. It's already uh, 3 p.m. my time. <laughs> Gosh, I feel like I started this forever ago. At the very least, and this is something to take note of, if you make another path, or if you find another path, and you put it in the same slots, uh, say for example, um, oh gosh, I just realized, you're really low down, dude. I don't think I can put something there while he's there. Um, if you, uh, say for example you find another path, and look at the lower screen right now, you find another path that has, like, this tile, this tile, um, and you replace it, when you come back out to your town, the game will have automatically switched them. Which is really nice. That means basically once you've found the, like, the layout of your path, you can switch paths again and again and again without having to replace your path every single time. Uh, which is basically what I've been doing for the last two years. So, I've only placed down a path in Rosewood, like, once or twice. Like, I, I've done it once, and then I've, like, made changes every here and there, right? But other than that, I don't really need to, uh to worry about placing it down again and again and again, so I can change it as many times as I want. I just thought of something. I am not really gonna want to see the output file size that this video is gonna make. <laughs> it's gonna be a hassle to edit this. There, I think. I think it's the next one. 
I'm gonna actually make it from here so I can, like, you know, join up the two without making an error on height. <laughs> And so obviously this path will be uh, updated every now and then. When a new villager moves in, usually is the time where I'm going to be like, okay, time to put a new path around their house. Uh, I tend to do that the day before they move in, just that it feels really nice and welcoming in my head <laughs> when, they, uh, when they do show up, but that's just me personally. Um, I know not everybody even puts paths around villager houses. I prefer doing it. It makes them feel more like... Uh, real members of the community, and it, it, it's kind of an ongoing joke. You can tell when somebody doesn't like a villager if they don't have paths around their house, because that means that they don't intend on keeping them there. <laughs> I always found that kind of funny. Okay, um, now time to place down the middle. Which thankfully doesn't take terribly long. Whoops, there we go. Got a bit distracted there. So again, we're not going to be able to place entirely down here just because, um, Reed is in town. <laughs> or Red, or however you want to say his name. I've always just said it Reed. I have no clue why to this day. It just is something I grew up with as a kid, I think. So I just, I always assumed I was saying it correctly. <laughs> okay. That is the other thing about having technically not actual paths, uh, is that Reed and Katrina and anyone else visiting will uh, essentially take up your paths and you're going to have to put them down again the next day. Uh, it's a little bit frustrating, something I'm hoping that they'll fix in future Animal Crossing titles. But we'll see. <laughs> But this path looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out so far, I'm not gonna lie. Usually I'm a little bit more picky on paths, but I think it's because I've had this one before so I know what it's gonna look like at different times of year. I've actually used this one for quite a while in, uh, in Rosewood. Just so happened to stumble upon it again and I thought, hey, that one's pretty nice looking. But, uh, but yeah, it's very interesting to see what different people like with their paths, because I personally really like uh, cobblestone or brick paths that kind of go with the bridges. Um, but I know other people really like like um, like mossy looking paths or like ice paths in the winter or uh, no paths or dirt paths or... It's just interesting to see what different people like. Okay, so we're nearly done here. May have gone down too low on that one. Yeah, I think I did. It's okay. Kind of rest myself up, but that's totally fine. <laughs> Just about there. It's always really nice to be able to just enjoy your path, walk around on it after you're done. That being said, I'm probably not quite done yet. I am going to do a little bit more work off camera just to uh, see if I can get it exactly how I want it before next episode. We'll see. I'd rather not change too much between episodes, if you know what I mean. I feel like uh, it's not really fair to you guys. It can get a little bit, like, kind of hard to keep up with. Um, so I would like to keep it somewhat uh, steady, if that makes any sense at all. Okay, and 
and the last two. And there we have it, that's the plaza done with. Oh, wait a minute, I was wrong. You. <laughs> you don't have a path yet, whoever. Are you Flora or are you... Okay, that is Flora, I was correct then. Both of the Flora and Willow's houses are pink, so I'm, I'm constantly forgetting. Oh no, don't erase it. Um, this one next. I was wrong. Gosh darn it. There we go, I finally got it right. Oh, that's awkward. Another thing a lot of people like to do, and I haven't done it in this town, I just don't really feel the need to, is uh, make stairs. So basically, I'll show you guys in a second, but you can uh, you can kind of create stairways or fake stairways using uh, using the cornered paths. I, I seen some people do it with like uh, just the lower paths, but personally I prefer corners. It makes it look more like a step. So, alright, here we go. Um, I'll show you. So there you go, you can see you kind of have like steps up or steps down using that. I, I've done that in my other town previously. Um, it just didn't really struck, strike me to do that in this town. It doesn't really feel like it's something that's really that necessary. Okay. But uh, that is something neat you can do. A lot of people do really neat things with their paths. Like even have like water paths or like moats and, and stuff like that. Like garden patches, like uh, something straight up Harvest Moon almost. It's very cool what people can do when they put their minds to it. Uh, ugh. This is gonna be kind of annoying. Again. Gosh darn it. This town is, is not really being that kind to me. Yeah, that's annoying. Oh well, I tried my best. <laughs> but uh, it's definitely a good thing that I film this ahead of time because this is going to take a very long time to edit and upload and render and all that, all that good stuff. So it should be up on time tomorrow. Thank you guys very much for being patient with me videos uh, and the schedule will be back to normal after this episode, of course. So there we go, that's everything connected. Let's just take a quick look around just to see how it looks. Um, and also fix these lines because I hate them. <laughs> there we go, that looks much better. But yeah, the police station will fit really snug up in here and I think it'll look really cute. Hopefully the plaza being so close doesn't affect that. <laughs> and then we have a down ramp, a ramp, you know what I mean, here. You can visit Melba, blah blah blah, let's not... Oh gosh. Stop it, game. <laughs> okay, let's see here. There we go, we can visit Melba or we can visit Marshall. And uh, eventually I will have something going down here because I think my next bridge will probably be either here or over here, but that's that's a long ways off so far. Um, and then we're gonna go over here. Cross over our existing bridge, which we are gonna replace one day because I don't like the gray ones. <laughs> Make a sharp turn down. We could visit Wolfgang on our way. We have our house right here, which I need to get rid of these. <laughs> okay, then we have our soon-to-be bridge cross off over there. We can head on down here. Now we can either turn left and head over to retail. Continue going on left, and we can visit the town hall or BAM, or we can take a right <laughs> when I get back there. And this is the other nice thing, I can run now, <laughs> kind of, there's a lot of trees in the way still. Oh, I can turn right, make a turn down, visit Pajmina, 
forget that the wrap down is over here <laughs> and uh, continue on. Visit uh, Poppy. Possibly visit Freckles if we're not ignoring her. Um, visit Willow or head down to the beach. And yeah. I think that's pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out so far, you guys. Um, thank you very much, as always, for, uh, for sticking with me during it. This is a very long episode. If you're still here, thank you very much. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know a lot of you guys watch while you're uh, you're playing your game, so I completely, completely understand that. But, uh, anyways, you guys, I think I am going to have to end it here. I'm very tired. Um, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope this is helpful at the very least. And, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys next time.